Synchronizing attributes. If we come in here and make a change to, um, let's go into block editor, and we're going to go to and pick up our motor. We're going to make a change to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an attribute definition. And I'm going to call it motor um, motor. Let's call it voltage. And I'll say uh, what is the voltage. And, uh, and I'll go with that and uh, I'm going to specify it on the screen and I'm going to place it right here. And then I'm going to close the block editor and I'm going to save the changes to that motor. But if I pick on an existing block and I go down and I see it didn't add in this attribute. I changed the, the definition. And if I were to change the definition with any object, a graphic item, it would update the block. However, it does not update the attributes for existing attributes. So what we want to do is we want to synchronize these attributes. And then the synchronizing of them will uh, allow those to uh, match the existing block definition. So... Uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to go into our insert and we want to go to attributes and we want to go to synchronize so we come down here hit the down arrow and we go to synchronize and it says now enter an option uh, I can give it a name or I can select I'll select that seems a little easier I select a block so I'm picking this block and it says uh, ATT sync block motor and so the name of our block is motor and I'm gonna say yes so I'll pick that and it's complete now when I go and double click on this you can see I get the voltages added to the list now and uh, so that's a nice thing I come here and say well it's 480 volts and I can apply that and hit OK and I can go and actually uh, hit this one over here and say uh, oh yeah this one voltage is definitely 480 volts and I can say okay so synchronizing attributes allows us to update existing blocks in the drawing that don't get updated when I um, redefine an attribute um, to the block